But let's begin. Let's talk about using history brush. So the first thing, we want to look at two different tools. We we'll begin by looking at what, where the history brush is. You can see it right here on the side under your tools. Now I have this, I have this set up as double, or you can click on that little cursor there and get single. So here's double. The, six, the next tool I want to get or function is to open up the history panel. This is a history panel. You can see here that I have the I have the, the images open. Let's say that I want to lighten just some of this image and leave the hands the way they are. Again, I always check to look and to see. Maybe just lighten it just a tiny bit overall. It looks great. So now I want to go, my next thing I want to do is select an area and I want to, what I do is I want to miss, I'm going lighter or darker. Let's make it lighter. I want to go to that center. A little bit of highlights. So there's that. Now we see on this panel that we have curves, the levels, and the open, right? So I want to click on this to the left, right there. So it's telling me history brush. It's selected right here. Or the history brush, not the art history brush, but the history brush. I'm going to go to the next level up, see how dark that is? I'm going to lighten this area right here. I want to check my opacity, which is the very type of the screen. Maybe make it a little bit more. And then I just go in there with this brush. Now I change the size of the brush a couple different ways. This, this way here, you can change this brush from large to small. Or you can use the bracket keys, which is what I prefer to use. So I'm going to go back to the history brush and then I can use this bracket keys to right or left. See how that makes it a little lighter? Now when I'm using the bracket keys or just kind of up by the P, I can make it larger or smaller. So just go in and just gently Got to be careful that if you hit it down in here, it's going to get really ghosty. So you want to be really gentle. And then you could change your opacity if you want to do more, something a little more selective, like in here, where it's not quite as dark. Right? So I'm going to just keep going in there and lighten it up. Or if we wanted to make this area darker, we could go and just do the reverse of it. So we've done all those history brushes. Let me click on here. Remember, that's how we were going for. This is our last one. That's what we're going to end up saving. Here, I'm going to reverse it. Right, and get that area darker in the background. Now I have that selected. Go up one. I think you get the idea, right? So you can just go back and forth and change what you want, lighter or darker. Change your opacity. If you want to make it really light like that. I don't. So that's how you do it. That's the history brush. Okay.